Welcome back to My Hero Academia Anime Review Special Number 70. Yep, Special Number 70. This is reviewing the 282nd chapter of the manga, Footfall of Destruction. Chapter starts off with Deku throwing his black whip at Sodoroki. And using the 100% Wyoming smash. And of course he puts his arm in Sodoroki's mouth. And of course he's bleeding. And of course, well, a razor head tries to run in and help. Despite the fact he's been shot in the leg with a bullet. I think it's possibly with Reese's quirk. Of course, Aerie does a little cat's cradle. I thought that was so adorable. The fact there's a flashback for that. And of course, Deku gets thrown back with his black whip. And then Sodoroki's like, he thinks he's going to claim Eraserhead's quirk. But luck enough, he's stopped by. Well, he's thrown back by. Shudo. Yep, Shudo basically is here. And of course, Deku punches him right in the freaking gut. Sends him flying. And of course, Deku is obviously worried about his teacher. Like, who's going to protect him? So what? Later the night, destruction awaits all of you. And then we cut to, like, a nearby town where the, where the evacuees are. We see Ingenium, Froppy, Ochaku. And this is getting toward, like, the end of the chapter. Apparently, they hear that something is, like, something in the country, like, like beginning back with the affected areas. A supermassive villain is currently making a beeline directly north from Mount Gunga in like a, to Jugga country in Great Kaido region. And he's basically master like most heroes. And they list up all the cities he's going through. Most heroes are away for this mission, right? And then the chapter ends with Nezuka plowing his way through a nearby town. Yeah, that's how the chapter ends. Interesting chapter, to say the least. And there is a rumor that with this, basically what happened with Eraserhead, that he might actually retire. Yeah, it's quite something, though, the fact that they, what some people say that, but I, for what I can tell, that could possibly happen. Also, they did kind of confirm the Grand Torito's dead. Yep, Grand Torito. Yeah, he's dead. So the rookie killed him last chapter. Yeah, it's been confirmed that he's definitely dead. Like, wow, a big name superhero like Gran Torino get killed by Sodoroki? Well, Sodoroki had good reason because, well, he probably hated him. But, yeah, killing him off, I don't think it's like a major loss this series, per se. I mean, he wasn't, I mean, he is a big character, per se. But, I wasn't, let's say, Let's just say I wasn't, let's say, a big fan of his, per se. I I mean, he didn't really appear very much in the series. He was a great, like, mentor for Deku. But <laughs> his death was something and sad for the series. A Razor Head getting killed, that would be a lot more uh, shocking to Deku than Gran Torito because of how close he is to Razor Head. But in the case of this chapter, what, him retiring... Yeah, I think the boy got hit was probably the eraser quirk. Possibly, I don't know, he just got hit in the leg first. He got hit in the leg. But it's great to see Shudo get involved with this little fight with Sodoroki. Because, well, mostly just Bakudo and, and Deku fighting him in Endeavor. Shudo getting involved is quite interesting to say the least. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely looking forward to next chapter that comes out next week. Which will be chapter number 283. And I like for One Piece... Series not take a week off. Yeah, I think the writer wants to keep it going because there's so much good momentum and you don't need to take another week off. Hopefully not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it for Sickle Review. My next view will be up soon. We review the newest episode of One Piece. Okay, see you next video.